Working within a certain set of defined units is crucial in AutoCAD. You can only work with one set of units at a time. So how do you do that? Well, first you have to define your units. This is where a template file can come in very handy. It can already be set up for you and you just work with it. But if it isn't, then setting up the units in a file is actually quite simple. Type in the word units to get to your drawing units manager. Let's set our units. For this example, let's use decimal and we're going to use feet. So here we define the length, the type, which we've talked about in a previous video. And here we defined exactly what the units are going to represent. In this case, one unit equals one foot long. Now it's good CAD practice to draw everything to length, to its true length. That means that if you need to draw a room that is 15 foot wide by 20 foot long, then draw it exactly at 15 feet wide by 20 feet long. Don't scale it up or down even if you need to draw in a different scale for your view on your drawing. There's another tool in AutoCAD called Viewports that will handle the scaling for it. Now this is good for several reasons. One, you are always creating an accurate drawing by drawing it to scale. And two, your drawings will be properly drawn to scale when printing. And three, others that need to use your file will know exactly what's going on with your line work. They can trust it. They know that, hey, this is drawn at three meters wide. It's three meters wide. So typically AutoCAD users will work with one set of drawing units, whatever they are. Now, sometimes though, you will need to work with files that are drawn in different units. That's why it's important to define your units in the unit manager. If this is done properly, AutoCAD can interpret the different units accordingly and scale the line work as needed when you bring it into your drawing. Keep in mind that not all CAD users are responsible as you, and they may not have properly set up their units. It happens from time to time. Now, it's a good idea, though, to check the file before you work with it. I'll give you an example. Let's open up the architectural example file here called Imperial. Now this is a very simple drawing. It's just a hallway here with some windows and a few doors for a couple of rooms. Now this is set to architectural units. So if I open up the unit manager, we'll see here it's set up to architectural units, a precision of 1 seconds of an inch, and each unit is set up as one inch. Now if we open up in that same folder, the civil example imperial, click open. This is just a simple roadway here, a little pond and a couple of residential lots with an area where a building is going to be at. Now if we type in the word units, we see that this drawing is set up to be decimals of a feet. Precision is at four decimal places and our units are set up to feet. So whenever we type in the number one, we're drawing it one foot long. In our other drawing here, the architectural example drawing, when we type something one unit long, it's one inch long. So now if I want to reference this file in, type in xref, this will open up my xref manager. Now this will allow me to reference one file into another, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to reference in my architectural example file. And here it is. I'm just going to insert it right there. So now you see my drawing right here of my building. And because I have my units set up properly, I can put it on one of my lots. Now, AutoCAD knows that whenever I draw something one unit long here, as an example, I'm just going to draw a line, type in one and it is one unit long. Now we see here that this item in comparison, this is one foot long, it looks about right. This wall is about half a foot, so that line should be about twice as long as that wall is wide. If I select it here, press Control C to copy that object, and I go back into my architectural drawing. Remember, I'm bringing in an object that's drawn into one unit, and it should be twice as long as this wall is wide. Control V. It's not. We see it's much smaller. Very much smaller. Because in this drawing file, AutoCAD sees one unit as being one inch. So that kind of gives you an idea. But when I'm using the reference files, then AutoCAD says, hey, look, this drawing, my main drawing that I'm in, the civil example drawing, is drawn in at feet for units. 
and the file I referenced is drawn in as inches. Oh, that's a scale factor of 12. I need to scale this for them so everything is drawn correctly in real world lengths and units. And so it knows that. Now that's great. So that's one important reason to make sure that you have your units set up. Now, if I have these set up incorrectly, say that I set them to inches, click OK, and I try to reference this in, it's going to be 12 times too big. Now, this also works between feet, you know, imperial units, and metric units, or vice versa. So it's great. So keep this in mind with this little demonstration here that your unit of measure in AutoCAD is relative, but it does matter, especially when you're working with other drawings defined with different units.